everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel. It's time that we take a look at our month ahead as we're already in the month of July 2020. So I'll shuffle up the cards and we'll be right back and get started. Okay, so now what I usually do is I sit down and write out what we're going to talk about on our month ahead to see which way I should go. Um, I don't always use the same spread and I wanted to get a feel for this month ahead just to see what I could see with it first before I created a spread for the month. So here's just some pointers of what kind of came up as I was in prayer and meditation over this. Um, so the first thing that came up is the Department of Justice, something big them playing a big role, um, something coming out of the Department of Justice. We may be hearing them prominently coming up this month, July. Um, I also got something about the Supreme Court coming up. Um, I get kind of a funny sense with it. I, I don't know if, I know I don't think President Trump would nominate anybody if, if somebody was to step down. I mean, if, if somebody stepped down, he would nominate somebody. But I, I get, I don't know if that's it. But there's something about the Supreme Court. I got like um, something being overturned or overruled. But I also got the sense of John Roberts fading into the, like coming up regarding this overruled like he might be the swing vote on something that overrules or overturns something but then i sense him kind of fading into the background so i don't know if he's going to be prominent and then step back either maybe resign i don't i don't know that but that anyway it's something about him fading in the background but also being prominent. So it's kind of mixed. Okay. Um, I wrote down some things here in my notes. Um, another thing that came up was the Arizona Trump rally. Okay. I think there's going to be some security concerns, issues, breach, um, something that is brought to the attention where there's going to have to be some care extra care being made on security. I also got the sense that at that rally, that this is a really important rally because President Trump is going to um, make a big announcement. Like, I got this sense of like throwing like a bomb, okay? Like this really big announcement. And I got the Im the image of like President Trump bowling and throwing a strike. Like it's gonna be just devastating, huge news. But but the Democrats or his opponents in this race or somebody is not gonna be happy. It's gonna be really highly charged. I also got that he's going to be speaking in code too at the rally. Um I got like him using numbers or, or letters and that it was like a coded message. And I felt like there might be somebody, it might take a, a day, maybe three days, and then somebody's gonna get what it, what he was referring to and, and then it's gonna be on. People are gonna go, wow, that's what he was talking about. This is what he's talking about. But it might not be known right off the bat. People would be like, what? What's he talking about? And some people might miss it altogether. But people paying attention. That's why I'm saying pay attention to this rally. Because I think there's something President Trump's going to be talking about overtly and also in code. As there's a lot of information coming out. Okay. Um, I also got President Trump pulling it. I wrote down pulling out the stops, like a commanding presence, like he's gonna like kind of take the gloves off at that rally, figuratively speaking, and just he's gonna speak his mind, okay? Not that he 
Not that he usually holds back, because we know President Trump, right? But there's something that he wants to say, and he's just going to damn well say it, okay? I'm just That's what the sense I get. Um, I also got the sense that the vice president pick will be coming up this month. And I get the sense, guy. I guess I'll call it. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But... When I was, I, I pulled out some cards, I was just looking through, and I swear, I, I just saw Kamala, Kamala, Kamala Harris's face. I just saw her. I think she's going to be the one. We'll see. Maybe it'll be somebody else, but that's just, either that or Kamala Harris will be prominently in the news this month. So, but I think it's related to being the VP pick. Okay. So those were kind of the highlights of what I was getting for this month. So then I laid out the spread. So, um, all right. So, okay. So for the Department of Justice, I, I kind of wrote those highlights down and thought, well, I'll just pull cards on each of those and we'll pull this month together. I got the Eight of Cups reversed. Card of difficulty moving on from something needing to move on but having trouble moving on but i do think that the department of justice is going to be making some big announcements this month or something so i think they're they're just going to be prominent i just i don't know exactly in what way but it's look to look for news coming out of there Okay, so the next was the Arizona Trump rally. And again, I don't know when that rally is going to be. I just, I think it's going to be this month. <laughs> but that's what it was coming to me. Arizona Trump rally. All right. Um, hermit. Hermit card. Now, this is so interesting because before I drew these cards, what I was seeing in my mind was Trump like holding like this light, like this ball and was going to throw it. And, and so look at this picture. This is the hermit holding that ball of light. <laughs> So something big is coming out at that rally. I would be paying attention to that. Next was on Biden and a possible VP pick. Got the Three of Cups, the friendship card. I would definitely be looking for some type of announcement coming out from Joe Biden on his VP nominee. Okay. Um, news about SCOTUS decisions, John... This is where I saw John Roberts um, and the f and him fading into the background. But anyway, when, when I saw this card, I just saw John Roberts' face on this, on this person here this time. <laughs> this high priest. Okay, I just saw this. His face was like John Roberts. Okay, so I don't know why, but he's going to be big news this month. Um, I think he's going to be the tie-breaking vote on an important, um, important uh, issue before the court, perhaps. Um, okay, all right. Um, obstacle for July. Now, oh yeah, okay. So the obstacle for for July, we have the reversed judgment card. And uh, interesting with that is I just kept feeling or sensing this push for you know and you okay when you when you see the judgment card you think of for the final judgment you know end of life you're ready to make your transition kind of imagery on the card i just got this sense of like being pushed that direction people being pushed to die death I, uh, I don't mm, I don't want to say that okay but but that's what it felt like is this push pushing people to their end now the card next to it is another major arcana out of the seven cards there were five that were majors this is the emperor card and this is on the position of the hidden behind the scenes. And that's right next to the obstacle for this month. And this, this push for an, an end, 
pushing like end of end end of life end of life. But we've got this emperor looking right back on it. Emperor of of control taking charge. And I got I got like this almost menacing like like pushing or wanting to push people to the end. So uh, there's some type of push for death. I is I, I know that sounds I don't know what context this is in. So something about pushing the end pushing the final result trying to get this end result maybe so i'm asking what what is this push about and i'm i'm getting the sense with this judgment card of not being willing or ready to face the inevitable and this authority figure with the emperor next to it like pushing people to face something they don't want to face and it could be a literal death could be a figurative death or feel like a death or difficult ending but being forced to face that reality now i don't know if this has to do with the virus you know people being forced you know to premature death Maybe there's going to be some more people dying. Obviously, there are people dying from this virus, although not as much, but more people are, seem to be contracting it. Um, I don't know if it's COVID. I don't know if it's something else, but this energy of not wanting to face the inevitable and then being forced to face it anyway. And it could come in the form of, of literal death or something else. I'm sorry to be so vague. <laughs> I wish I had like, like, could just tell exactly what this is, but I get feelings and impressions. And so sometimes trying to put it into words and it could mean a lot of things. This, you know, sometimes tarot can, it can mean different things depending on the situation. But there's something strong about that not wanting to face it and for being forced to not wanting to die but being forced to that's the feeling okay <sighs> all right doesn't have to be literal death either but uh anyway all right moving on um outcome for july now actually not bad we have the reversed sun she can the sun is always positive reversed can just mean a Things maybe not being as bright and wonderful as we'd hope, but overall, it it I think this is going to be a good month overall. I don't think it's going to be a terrible, you know. There's some strong energies. What I mean by terrible, there's some strong energies here. We've got that hermit and the high priest, the judgment, and the emperor. <laughs> really strong energies. Um, the sun says. It's gonna and it's gonna be okay. There's gonna be some shift, some changes, some difficult having to deal with difficulty and resistance, resisting that. Okay. Underneath this we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. This is a card of needing to get to work and having a lot of work to do, needing to get things done. Um, but having to focus on not getting lost in the details, but getting getting moving. There's more work to be done. Okay. Kind of interesting energies for this month. Um, I think I'm going to leave that here. A lot to think about. Um, I do think the uh, VP will be picked for Biden and... Uh, Something about that Arizona rally is going to be kind of important to pay attention to. So, all right. Um, okay, I'm going to leave that here. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. Um, we'll see what happens this month. It might be kind of interesting. So, all right. Um, we'll catch you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.